Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. Today we'll be creating musical record cover and template using Illustrator and Photoshop. This template will be totally customizable. We'll design print ready cover and create the custom template using smart object option. So let's begin with the tutorial. Firstly, select a suitable image for the cover and drag into Photoshop. Here, we'll edit the image. Unlock the layer and create a duplicate. Change the layer mode to multiply and reduce the opacity to 52%. Next, add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Set the brightness value to 15 and the contrast value to 18. This way, we have edited the image. Save the image as JPEG. Next, open a new print document in Illustrator. Give a name, change the unit to inches, width and height to 7 inches each and leading area around 0.25 inches. So we got an artboard of 7 inches with a bleed of 0.25 inch. Next, drag in our edited image. Scale it down to make it fit with the document size. After that, draw a rectangle covering the bleed area. Select both the objects, then with the right click, make clipping mask. Next, type out the title for the cover. Give it white color and scale up the size. Choose phosphate font for the text. Duplicate under text and type records. We'll give Zafino font for this text. Adjust the size and change the second text color to dark blue. We'll use iPicker to choose the color from the images. After this, duplicate the artboard using the artboard tool. Then delete all the elements from the artboard. Next, choose ellipse tool and draw a circle from the center of the artboard. Give fill color black and remove the stroke color. Duplicate the circle using the shortcut Command or Ctrl C to copy and Command or Ctrl F to paste in front. Then select the top circle and scale it down a little bit. We'll give white stroke color and adjust the size. Next, duplicate the top circle using the same shortcut and scale it down. After this, by repeating the shortcut Command or Ctrl C, Command or Ctrl F and Command or Ctrl D, you can duplicate multiple number of circles without adjusting the size. You should also make sure that the fill color is removed before you begin the duplication. Here, I'll remove all the fill color of all the circles except the background circle. Then select the smallest circular ring, continue with the duplication. You can even copy in batches and scale it down. Next, select a batch of inner rings and reduce the stroke thickness to 0.25. Now select the smallest ring and give it a fill color. Open the color picker panel, fill the value with 484137. Faded brown color will be applied. Now selecting all the inner rings. Reduce the opacity to 40% under transparency panel. Next, select all the rings and go to object path outline stroke. This will convert all the rings to fill object. Now go to color swatches and apply gradient color. Open the gradient panel, drag the white slider to the center. Then add a new slider of black color to the other end. Edge the slider to get a soft fade. You can see a nice shiny effect added to the record. Adjust the slider until you get a sharp light stroke. Then select all the rings and rotate it to 45 degree angle. Next, select the thin ring and reduce the opacity to 30%. Now select the outer ring. We can see that the thickness is greater compared to all the rings. We have given 2 point thickness for this ring. Then adjust the gradient using the slider. We'll reduce the color fading distance for this ring. This will give a sense of reflection in the record. Next, select the inner circle. Give it a stroke thickness of 1.5 points. Then go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke to convert it into fill object. Apply the same gradient color and read it to 45 degree angle. Open gradient panel and change the type to Radial. Remove one of the black slider and change the position of the two sliders. Adjust the gradient color using the gradient tool. Next, draw a circle from the center and put the same color values. You can change the color of the black slider to a darker tone as per the above circle. Lastly, create a duplicate of the title 
and place it over the record. Give white color to both the text, rotate it to 45 degree angle and adjust the size. In the next part, we'll create a customizable template in Photoshop using the element created in Illustrator. In this episode, we have designed a print ready musical cover and a vector record. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.